Tim, uh, you did make, I'm sorry, but I mean, we've just got to be honest about a few things here. You certainly made the point, I agree that farmers are under siege. And I agree that the local fish shop is under siege. But I don't know any fish shop or any farmer who voted for a carbon tax. And the bloke you work for does. Uh, you work for Tony Windsor and he supported a carbon tax. And that's why I'm, well, that's why I'm concerned that we might be speaking with forked tongue here. There have to be, there have to be, there have to be very, they have to be very, very, they have to be, there have to be very, very clear lines drawn at meetings such as this. And that is the drilling on prime agricultural land is off limits. The drilling on prime agricultural land is off limits. The drilling on areas such as the Southern Arts is off limits. And the issue is twofold. It is about what's above the ground, farmers trying to make a quid, and it is about dewatering the aquifers, contaminating the aquifers and bleeding the aquifers underground. There is no evidence from the industry yet that any of those issues have been addressed. And no one should speak in with any equivocation. Those battles have to be won, fought and won. And Drew's made that point. He says that we do it politely, but we oppose it. And these people are looking for any hole in the wall at all that they can crawl through. And meetings like this are important. We're going to go up to Casino. I mean, there's an election in Casino today. I don't know what's going to happen up there, but there is a genuine concern. This is pristine land, which is used for agriculture. This is pristine land. We're meeting in an area which is the envy of the world, the Southern Highlands. Just as the Liverpool Plains is the envy of the world, we have a simple message. Go away, stay off. Nothing, nothing will legitimise what you're trying to do. Nothing will legitimise it. And